Okay, so we finished the main shape, the primary shape and secondary shape for our neon sign. And what we're going to do next, we are going to talk about how to reinforce these corners right here. If I zoom in, notice that when I hit three, these corners get very, very soft. Okay, in order to do that, I'm going to make sure that both of these corners, this one right here and this one right here, have quads. And as you can see, if I turn off my image plane layer and change the color of my canvas by going to alt B and I'm gonna go to black right now I have this mesh set to x-ray right here on the top of this cameras icons you will notice that I have a quad here we have a quad here and we have a quad here in this side we have quad quad and quad so this is gonna be a very easy fix can do this two ways I can go to edges shift right mouse button and go to insert edge loop tool and what I can do is I can drag on one of these edges right here and I can support my edge right here and then for this side I'm gonna do the same thing and then move it as close as I did the first one now this geometry right here in the middle is gonna be very tight we don't really care too much because this texture, the texture of the image plane, which we will add on later, is going to be projected from this camera's point of view, which as you can see on the bottom left corner, we're going to be projecting from the Z direction. However, we can, we can move these vertices right here by going to vertices, and then with the move tool, I can move these guys around like so and I can make sure that my edges flow better and that they are spread apart more equally to give me a better texture later on. So this is what I would do in this case. Move this guy over here, spread these vertices so I can get really good textures like so. And again, what you're looking for is these edges. You want a very nice distribution of your edges and always, always keeping the corners very, very tight. Now, the way that you want to think about these type of corners is as if they were the corners for a cube. But in this case, we're going to be going on the opposite direction. We're going to go on the opposite space of a cube. And as soon as I'm done fixing these edge flows I'm going to open a cube real quick and I'm going to explain what I mean by that always 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 go to object mode turn on your image plane and hit three and see if you were able to support those corners like we did right here okay let me fix this one make sure that this edge right here and this edge right here have the same distance to create a sharp corner and I'm happy with what I have three and one and again, once we build the internal and external support edges, our fencing, we are going to get a even sharper corner. Okay, so this is how you fix these guys right here. I'm going to still spread my vertices a little bit better. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a cube real quick and I will explain how to look at these corners. So here's our cube and what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit three so you can see what happens when we go into smooth preview. Now, obviously we need to fence these edges right here. When we fence these edges, what's going to happen is that these edges are going to be supported by additional edges in the corners. Like so, I'm going to go to edges, shift right mouse button, and I'm going to go to insert edge loop. And I'm going to reinforce this corner right here so you can see what happens when I hit three. Let me go to object mode, hit F to see the entire cube. And if I hit three right now, notice that that corner was fenced, reinforced. We get a sharp corner and everything else that was not reinforced becomes smooth. Now, if I go back to one and I go right before I started fencing these edges right here, by doing my undos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate these corners but on the negative space. So in traditional fine arts, 
the object is considered the positive space, everything around the object is considered the negative space. So the black area is the negative space. Now, if I was to select these faces right here, everything but the top face, and I hit delete, and then I go to my top view, I'm going to hit space bar, go to the top view, and I'm going to zoom in right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this edge here, this edge here, by holding shift after grabbing those two edges, right mouse button, extrude, and I'm going to put my gizmo in the middle of those two edges, and I'm going to scale them in this plane right here, like so. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this face. I'm going to go to Q, right mouse button, faces. I'm going to select this face right here. And as you can see, this is one of the corners that we're dealing with. I'm going to snap these corners right here. So if I select this object and hit three, this is what we're going to get. This corner has not been reinforced. We can also use the word supported or fenced. Now, if I select these edges right here, any edge, and I go to shift right mouse button and I go to insert edge loop, and I put one edge loop on the left and the right of this edge, let me zoom in, you will notice that we are going to reinforce that edge. And the closer that I am towards that edge, the sharper my corner is. So if I go to Q, go to object mode and hit three, notice the difference. This corner has been supported, reinforced by adding two additional edges on each side. Another tool that we can use, if I go back to before I inserted these two edges and I go to one, it's called the offset edge loop tool and it's found also in the tools for our edges. So I'm going to go to shift, right mouse button, offset edge loop tool. Now this one doesn't work like the insert edge loop tool where you have to select an edge on one of the sides and then drag the edge. This one you drag the actual edge that you want to offset and then you go up and down or left and right and it will give you two edges at equal distances from the edge that you are offsetting. So this is a much cleaner way of doing these corners. Now when I hit Q for object mode and I hit three, we get the same thing, a sharp corner. And this is how we reinforce those corner edges.